Hello everyone, my name is Fred Goofy. I'm an international student at Walsh University. I'm studying clinical laboratory science and I'm taking the field botany class. Uh, and today I'm gonna talk about, I'm doing this video to talk about uh, uh, invasive plants. Invasive plants are those plants that actually cause a harm to the environment. So, and uh, there's two terminology that we are gonna discuss today which is the first one is native and non-native in face of plant. Uh, native plant, actually those, the plants actually who are locally uh, found, like basically within a community, within uh, a county, within a state, or within the United States. Non-native, on the other hand, are those brought from different countries. And a good example uh, is garlic mustard, because garlic mustard is brought from Europe, which is a herb that it was used as a food source to make a, a pesto and uh, I think it's actually used as a medicine, a medicine too. Here we go again. So invasive plant has the tendency to grow out of control. To remove garlic mustard, simply grab it and try take it out from the ground, including the roots like that and then dispose it in a plastic bag. The seeds are viable for seven up to seven years. So basically if you place it on the ground and never removed it from the site, it might actually grow back, which the thing that we don't want to. We're trying to remove it so we don't have it so it doesn't danger our environment. As you can see over here, we have like a, a lot of them, even though if you look further to the back, you see that we have so many of them because, because actually oh, and there's a, a pea because actually the seeds actually can can move from one place to another place by wind, water or maybe like a pea I forgot to mention that garlic mustard has six seeds you can see them over here Hope this one is so clear to you. Here we go at the end of our video. Hope you liked it. So please consider share and subscribe and uh, give us a thumbs up if you like it. Thank you so much.